Perry of the circus. For Jerry of the Circus. He sure is a beaut, Mr. Rogers. You bet he is, Jerry. Open the door, Tom. We'll bring him out so you can get a good look at him. Okay. Hello there, please. Say, you are pretty. Untie him, Tom, and lead him out. He's as gentle as a lamb. I can't see why folks make fun of a nice horse like Blake. He looks just like any racehorse I've ever seen. And he's just as good as any racehorse you ever saw. Here we come. The only trouble with Blaze is he's got a reputation to live down. What do you mean, Mr. Rogers? Oh, the fact that he was with the fire department. Well, I don't see why that's so bad. Fire horses have to be fast. And I'll say they do. And I'll bet Blaze is as fast as any of them. Just look at his long legs. Long and powerful, Jerry. You should see him break. Well, what do you mean by that, Dad? I mean, break away. Get started. When he starts to go, he goes right now. That's extra good in racing, isn't it? You bet it is. Well, that way you can get out in front of the rest of the horses and get a head start. You're right that time, Tom. My dad and I used to take care of some racehorses out west a couple of years ago. Oh, is that so? Uh-huh. Then you must know something about them. No, I was littler then, and I didn't pay much attention to them, but I sure liked them. They were just like children. That's a pretty fair way to explain them, Jerry. More like babies sometimes. <laughs> How true. A good racehorse is sensitive, all right. You have to handle them with care and pamper them if you want to get the best out of them. Is Blaze sensitive, Dad? You bet he is, just like Jerry said. Sometimes he acts just like a baby. Well, how do you mean? Oh, sometimes he refuses to eat, and then again he'll stir around when I'm trying to brush him down and, well, just act up in general. But why do they do that? Oh, for many reasons, Jerry. They're intelligent, these racehorses, and they're even fussy about the way you talk to them. There's times when you don't know exactly why they act up, but they've got a reason for it, and it might be that you said one word a little cross to them. Really? Sure thing. You have to be very careful with them. Well, Blaze, old fella, we'll just talk real nice to you. Yes, we will. Nice, Blaze. He's a nice old horse. Yes, he is. Maybe you better not call him old, Jerry. <laughs> he might be sensitive about his age, huh, Tom? <laughs> you can't tell. How old is he, Mr. Rogers? Eight years. Ooh, that's not old. Well, it is for a racehorse. But there's lots of horses eight years old that are racing. Yes, that's true, Jerry. Some of them last a good long time and keep up their speed. Well... How old are all the other racehorses in the in the big race? Oh, they're all ages, son. The big handicap race is for four-year-olds and upwards. And are most of them around four? That's right. There's a couple around six years old, but Blaze is the oldest in the race with eight long years to his credit. Well, do you want me to just stand here and hold him? Yes, if you don't mind, Tom. Oh, I don't mind. In fact, I like it. It's good for him to stand out here in this morning sun and get good and warm before I take that blanket off him. Aren't you going to feed him? No, not until after his workout. You couldn't run him just after he ate. Well, you're going to let him work up an appetite for breakfast, huh? Well, that's one way of putting it, but no matter how big his appetite, he won't get much breakfast. Why not? Because his big race is tomorrow, and I don't want Blaze to be putting on any extra weight. That's one thing I have to watch very carefully. Can't overfeed him. <laughs> Maybe he knows we're talking about something to eat. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm, it's funny Warren isn't here yet. Warren? Who's he, Mr. Rogers? That's the jockey that's going to ride, Blaze. Oh, and he's going to give him his workout this morning, huh? Yes, he should have been here ten minutes ago. You said he was a good jockey, didn't you? Yes, one of the best. I was lucky to be able to get him to ride, Blaze. Is is he a regular jockey or just somebody from around Fordham? Oh, no, he's a regular jockey, Tom. He's famous. He rode at all the big race tracks at some time or other. Yes, sir, I'm very fortunate in getting him. In fact, without him, I don't think Blaze would have a chance. Why not? 
Well, Warren seems to know the horse and all his little whims. He knows just when to hold him down and when to let him out and how to talk to him and all that. Oh, I see what you mean. Here, let me take that blanket off. There, you're warm enough now, aren't you, boy? Uh, want me to put it in the stable? No, never mind, Tom. Just lay it over there on the bench. Gee, Blazes, sure pretty, all right. Yes, you can see more of him now with the blanket off, can't you? I'll see. He sure is a beaut, Mr. Rogers. Come on, Tom. We'll walk over to the track with Blaze. Warren will be along any minute now. Here comes somebody now. Yeah, sure enough, and it's Warren. He's a little fellow, all right. Say, how old is he, Dad? Oh, about 19 or 20, I'd say. Morning, Warren. Good morning. Uh, this is my son, Tom. How's he do? And this is Tom's friend, Jerry. Glad to meet you. Hiya. We were just going to take Blaze onto the track. Are you ready for the workout? I am, if you are. Well, come on, then. Come on, Blaze. We'll go ahead and open the gate to the track. Come on, Tom. I'm right with you, Jerry. What's the matter with you this morning, Warren? Get up on the wrong side of the bed? No, why? Hey, you look kind of down in the mouth. Don't you feel good? Sure, I feel all right, but... But what? Oh, nothing. Come on, the gate's open. We're coming, boys. You going to try Blaze on the mile this morning? If you want me to, I will. Well, do you think he's ready? If he's not, now, he never will be. Whoa, whoa, Blaze. Whoa, boy. You know, Tom, Blaze acts just like he knows he's going to run a race. Notice the way he shakes his head? Uh-huh. Well, that's because he's so spirited. Well, he's all yours, Warren. Okay, I'll put him around until I get him warmed up. All right, Blaze, let's go. Take it easy now. I haven't seen all the rest of the horses yet, but I'll just bet there aren't any better looking than Blaze. Oh, that's a matter of opinion, Jerry, but I'm inclined to think the same as you. Just look at that form. He's a pretty animal, all right. How long will Warren trot him around before he tries him out for speed? Oh, just long enough to get him limbered up and warm. There sure is a lot to train in racehorses, isn't there? You bet there is. More to it than I ever figured. Well, I'll bet it doesn't seem like work, though. No, that's true, son. But it's all very fascinating. Here he comes back. And look, he, he's just itching to run. Well, Warren sure is holding him back. Yeah. Looks like he's raring to go, Warren. He's all set. You ready to clock him? Yes, I'm all ready, Warren. I'll take him up to the line and Come on, Blake. Say, uh, how do you time him, Mr. Rogers? Well, I time him with this stopwatch I have in my hand. Now, look, you boys had better stand back off the track. Well, how does it work? Well, just as Blaze gets in front of us, I start timing him with the watch. Once around the track is one mile. Oh, here he comes now. Go! Look at him go! You're sure right, Mr. Rogers. He sure gets away quick. Yes, he sure does. See? Look. Notice the way he gets right over to the rail? He sure does. Say, he's making good time. Let's see if I can get his time at the quarter now. I, is that the quarter mile post he's coming to now? Yes, that's it, Jerry. Now, wait, wait. Let me watch this close. He just passed it. 25 seconds flat. Say, that's really wonderful. That's the best time he's made yet for the quarter. Gosh, now, if he can only hold that speed. How long will it take him to run the mile if he does? Well, let's see. That'd be uh, a minute and 40 seconds... Say, that'd be just about perfect. Well, what do some of the other horses run the mile in? Well, the best time so far is a minute and 46 seconds. Then it looks like Blaze will do better than that. Oh, we can't tell yet, Jerry. He may tire when he gets to the stretch. You mean just before the finish? Yes, just before he crosses the finish line. There he goes, past the half-mile post. Let's see. 52. That means he did the second quarter in 27 seconds. Oh, gee, he's slowing down already. No, not necessarily, Tom. Warren may be holding him back until he gets around the back stretch and starts for home. Then he may let him out and make up a few seconds. Boy, he sure runs pretty. Well, looks almost like he's flying. Now he's running the back turn. Just look at him go. Yes, he looks mighty fast today. Now, watch him close, boys. Watch him. He's coming down the stretch. Say, that's funny. What's funny, Mr. Rogers? Warren doesn't seem to be letting him out. He should burst out with a lot of speed right now. Come on, Blaze! What's the matter with him? Is something wrong? Well, here he is coming down the stretch and no more speed than he had when he rounded that far turn. Come on, Blaze! Here he comes, Dad! Now he's going a lot faster, see? Yes, but it's too late now. He's about to cross the wire. Come on, Blaze! Well, that's that. Well, what was the time, Dad? Not as good as I expected, son. Well, how long did he take? One minute, forty-eight and a half seconds. Oh, I sure thought he'd do better than that. He got off to such a good start. Here he comes now. Whoa, boy, easy, Blaze. Hey, what happened, Warren? Nothing. Why? What did we do it in? That's just it. The time is off. You took a minute and 48 and a half seconds. Sorry, that's all he had. Well, he's got to do better than that in the race tomorrow, or we won't have a chance. Say, are you sure you let him out in the stretch, Warren? 
Of course I did. You trying to tell me how to ride? Now, Warren, don't take that attitude. I only asked a question. Well, that's all Blaze has got in him. Just what he showed right then. Then that's as good as telling me we haven't got a chance. Take it out for yourself. Come on, we're holding the gate open. Well, maybe when he gets in there with the other horses in the race, it'll make a difference. That's the only hope. Well, all right. Take his saddle off and throw the blanket over him till he cools off. Okay, Say, close that door after me, somebody. Yeah, I will. What's the matter, Dad? Oh, don't worry, Mr. Rogers. Oh, maybe Blaze will surprise everybody tomorrow. Well, I certainly hope so, Jerry. We've got to win that race tomorrow. It means everything to me, and to Tom, too. A thousand dollars is a lot of money, Jerry. Golly, I'll say it is. Hey, look! Look, there's a fire down there at that lunch stand. Wow, and that is a fire. Come on, let's see if we can be of any help. Hey, Warren, hurry up. There's a fire in that lunch stand over by the entrance. Let's get over there. Here I with you. Come on, Tom. Run faster. I'm coming. Hurry it up, boys. You coming, Warren? I'm right behind you. Oh, say, this is liable to be bad. Those sparks are flying pretty high. Hey, anything we can do to help? No, no, nothing you can do, fellas. Our department will be here in a minute. Someone turned in the alarm as soon as the fire started. Golly, that, that's a hot fire, all right. They're throwing water on it, but it doesn't seem to do any good. Here, here they come now. Say, how did it start? I, I don't know. The guy that runs the place just got in there when it broke out. Maybe it was lighting the stove. Something happened. Well, they'll get it out in a hurry. Golly, look who's coming. It's playing. It's Blaze, Mr. Rogers. Well, what do you know about that? He broke out of his stall. Warren! Warren! Grab Blaze! I'll get him. Oh, why did he have to break out that way? <laughs> That's some race horse you got there, Roger. <laughs> the minute he hears the fire bell, he heads to see the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to be back in the fire department. <laughs> That's the race horse I'll put in with. You've never seen a kind of like you. Oh, don't you care, Dad. Let her make fun of you and Blaze. He'll find out tomorrow what kind of a horse he is. I've got him. A swell horse to break away just because he hears a fire bell. And this is the horse I have to ride in the big race. It's only natural for him to want to run when he hears the fire bells. He's used to doing it. Ah, don't you care what they say, Mr. Rogers? Oh, but... Oh, this is awful. Oh, no, it isn't, Dad. Hey, wait a minute. I just got an idea. What, Jerry? Oh, nothing. You'll see when the time comes. (laughs) 